All right, here's a quick little solution to that challenge. Uh, let's go to the player here. We're asked to uh, key press the letter F, find the furthest ghost, and then make it stop. So this shouldn't be too bad here. So one thing you can do here now is I could just go uh, some ghost equals instance furthest. Now instance furthest wants an X and a Y position. This is going to be the X and Y for me, the player. So I'll give it my X and Y. And the object I'm looking for is O ghost. Now, this ends up giving me, uh, assuming there's some ghosts on the screen, this gives me the ID of the nearest ghost. Now all I have to do is do something like this. With some ghost, speed is zero. And then that ghost will stop. Now it is true if there's no ghosts on the screen, um, you know, you should be able to handle that. And we'll learn that in other methods where you can check, is there a ghost at all there? But this works okay. Let's see this in action. I hit the F key, and that moving ghost, that was the farthest one, that guy stopped. Now if you see here, I can do it again, make sure that's the farthest ghost. I keep hitting F here. Maybe I have to get a little closer. There we go, and now that's the furthest ghost, and I stopped him too. So that's really it for that little challenge, right? Just to get you to do one on your own there. Uh, watch the next video. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit more what you can do with these IDs once you have them. Thanks for watching.